this is Anne. Hi, this is Crystal. Welcome to the sixth episode of Let's Talk About Faith Stuff. Our mission is to engage kids, young people, and families with God in an inclusive and creative way. We hope you will participate in a way that is meaningful for you. Each week, we will be taking a fresh look at lessons in the Bible through stories, songs, activities, and prayer. Each week will look a little different and a little the same. We know your time is valuable and that too much screen time can drive you a little crazy. So we're going to keep it short and sweet. Today, we continue our series on the fruits of the Spirit. The scripture for this can be found in the Bible in Galatians 5, 5, 22 to 23. The fruit of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Last week, we said we'd do a check-in on how we did with kindness and generosity. How did you do, Anne? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I think I did all right. I, I can't tell you a specific incident where I made sure that I was kind and generous, but I think I always try to do that. How about you? How'd you do? I did all right, especially in the midst of everything that that's happened in the last week or so. It's really easy to sort of go to the negative side when you hear people sort of trying to harm each other with their words. <laughs> and, you know, what I did was try really hard to try to see everybody's point of view rather than just mm -hmm. my point of view and people who agreed, agreed with me. And that's then also, admirable. Oh, thank you. And another thing I did too was I had a, a friend of mine who was doing a fundraiser for charitable causes. Actually, you're supposed to pick which ones you want to uh, support. And so I, I supported those with my, my mm -hmm. hard earned dollars. Nice. That's great. Today, we are going to talk about gentleness. Yes. There are several so short scripture lessons we are including this week. They are Colossians 3.12, Proverbs 15.1, and 1 Peter 3.15. They all talk about being gentle or having gentleness. And gentleness is kind of the same as humility, right, Anne? Yes. In fact, in, a, in our short teaching time we'll have shortly, I'm going to talk a little bit about the different words that the Bible translates to gentleness and and the different words we use. I could certainly learn a lot about gentleness. So I'm looking forward to hearing that. Sounds good. <laughs> Hello again. So today we're talking about gentleness. There are a lot of places in the Bible that mention being gentle, having gentleness, or using gentle words. We mentioned three of them. First was Colossians 3.12, which says, Because you are God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourself with heartfelt compassion, with kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. First Peter 3.15, which says, in your hearts, set Jesus apart as holy and sovereign. Should anyone ask you the reason for this hope of yours, be ever ready to reply, but speak gently and respectfully. And then Proverbs 15, 1, which says, a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Have you ever experienced that? If you talk to someone gently, you will get a very different response from them than if you speak to them harshly. As I was looking at these verses and the topic of gentleness, I found that there are a variety of words in Hebrew and in Greek that are translated as gentle or gentleness, and that there are multiple words that they are translated into. So depending on which translation you have, these might be translated differently. You'll hear different words. 
meekness, quiet strength, and humility are three of the other ways that they're translated. So in our society, being gentle or meek are considered signs of weakness. Yet, can you imagine how much better the world would be if everyone practiced gentleness? Can you imagine what it would be like if powerful people didn't work so hard to just prove that they were powerful, but instead were gentle and compassionate? Think of what it's like when you pet a kitten. If you do it gently, the kitten might let you do it. But if you aggressively, she will probably either bite you or scratch you or run away or all of the above. Sometimes it can be hard to be gentle, especially when it seems like the world expects us to be aggressive in order to prove ourselves. Yet, I think it takes strength to be gentle. Gentleness makes us strong, not weak. Have you ever had a teacher who spoke gently? Were you able to learn more easily or less easily from that teacher? In a sermon that Jesus gave, a sermon that we call the Beatitudes, Jesus says, Blessed are those who are gentle, for they will inherit the land. I imagine that was quite a surprise for those who heard it. I wonder what that would look like in today's world. What do you think Jesus would say about how things are today? Would you be surprised if you heard Jesus say that? How might you practice gentleness this week? Hi there. We're doing our craft today and it's just kind of a reminder to remember to be humble in in our daily life. So you if you have black paper, use black paper and I cut the pieces the same size as an index card, a three by five, three inches by five inches, okay? And I have four of those, okay? Uh, and then I have one five by five piece. Now if you don't have black paper, that is okay. You can use white paper with a regular pen. You don't have to do it this way. What we're gonna do is we're gonna write in, I have a white crayon, and we're gonna write with the white crayon on the black paper so we can see it. But we're gonna write the words, and if you can't do this by yourself, ask for help. I, and you can use upper and lower case, I'm going to. I will, okay, just like that. And then, um, I don't think I remember to tell you this last week for the supplies, but you, you will need to punch some holes. It's probably best if you stack all your cards up and try to punch as many of them as you can at once so that the holes are all in the same place, like that, punching through all of the things. Now those are not very big holes, so I'm going to take my, because I don't have my bigger hole punch and I'm going to kind of grind out a bigger hole with my scissors. See how I have that? It doesn't have to be fancy. Now on three of the cards, if you're doing four, you can do as many as you want or as few as you want, you're going to want to punch another set of holes directly below that other set. So like, like that, grinding out the holes with my scissors. Okay. All right, like that. Then we're going to write ourselves little reminders about how to be humble. Now being humble is being, uh, is the same as gentleness really. It's just how, what words can you use that will be kinder than, um, like, like for instance, I'll write this one down. Um, when I'm wrong, 
I'll say I'm sorry. So like that. Okay. And then I don't even know if you can see that because it might be out of focus, but like that. Um, and here's one that is exactly the opposite. When I'm right, I will be kind. So you know when you're right about something, you could say, ha ha, I'm right, you're wrong. But is that really the nicest thing you could say? So um, when I'm right, I will be kind. Okay? I will remember to spend time praying because we need to um, be in communication with God, right? And thank God for all the wonderful things that God does for you every day. Last one is encourage others always, right? Those things will help me to remember to be humble. Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna make a sign, and so we're gonna connect all of these together. And you can use string. I have this baker's twine, which I'm gonna use, and, or you can use tape. I happen to have purple masking tape, which of course is cool. You could even use a twist tie. And let me show you how we put this together. Um, since I'm using string, I'm gonna refer to string. And you're gonna put the string through the hole, and then you're gonna put it through the hole, the one underneath, and you're gonna leave a little bit of a gap, not much, and tie a knot, and then pull on the string. And you see how it sort of dangles down just a little bit? On the next string, you're gonna do the same thing. Okay, so here's the important part that you need to remember. When you tie this next knot, you're gonna want these to be about the same size because if you tie them differently or at a different lengths, it's not gonna hang straight. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this out a little bit and see how that, that's pretty straight. I'm gonna see if I can pull this a little bit. There, it's straight. See how that hangs like that? Okay, and you're gonna continue to tie these all on the same way and then we'll come back and I'll show you the finished product. If you really want to fancy it up, you could use like the edge of a tape um, roll and put it on the corner and draw a line. And then you can round the corners like that. You can do that on all four corners if you want. Or you can just leave it square and plain. That looks nice too. And there you go. Your little reminder. You can trim the strings up too if they bother you hanging there. So hopefully we can all now remember to be humble and gentle in our lives. So today for our prayer, we're going to try a breath prayer. So tell me about what is a breath prayer, Anne? Well, I think there are different ways you can do a breath prayer, but for today, we're going to, we're going to breathe in. Um, pay, it's really paying attention to your breath. We're going to breathe in and think about our word for God or idea for God. It could be, it could be God. It could be gentleness. It could be, um, love maybe. We love. Yeah. And, or Jesus. and it, it could be Jesus. It could even be breath, perhaps. Um, but when you breathe in slowly, you you concentrate on that word, and then and then for this one, let's breathe out. Um, 
our our stress and our angst and our negativity and and words for that might be stress um and we're not actually going to say these words we're just going to concentrate on them as we're concentrating on our breath so we'll we'll try that um and then once once we've done that then you at home can try that whenever you want to um it's easier to do it probably when you're not listening to us <laughs> but we can try that now so first if you have your word for what god is to you let's think about that as we breathe in slowly and then as we exhale think about that word that means your negativity or whatever you want to whatever you want to get rid of again So you at home can do that as many times as you would like to. And then we'll end just by saying amen. Amen. We hope you learned a little bit about what it means to practice gentleness. Next week is the last week of our series, and we'll be talking about faithfulness and self-control. The supplies you might want to gather for the craft are colored construction paper and a marker or crayon to write with. If you don't have any colored construction paper, that's okay. You can use white paper or whatever you have on hand. You'll also need a stapler. For our prayer time next week, we're going to be needing a few extra supplies. We will be needing some branches or sticks from the yard or outdoors and you're going to want to put them in a jar or a glass like you would put a, a bouquet of flowers. So have that handy. They won't need water or anything, but just make sure that the sticks or the branches are in the jar or the glass. Sounds good. I hope everyone has a safe week. We'll see you next time. Bye.